Live <laughs> from London, this is Quizmas. Britain, get ready to play. <laughs> Christmas. It's 1 p.m. and it's only 13 days now till Christmas. So if you fancy a little stocking filler, we've got £500 up for grabs. Now you know the deal. I'm going to ask you 12 questions. Very easy to very hard. You'll have 10 seconds to tap your answer. If you get all 12 right, then you'll win or split the cash. Now as you know, this month, we're giving away 100 grand in cash and prizes. We're also giving you more chances to win in our daytime game, Secret Santa. <laughs> now, every day, we'll have one question hidden somewhere in the show. If you're still in the game and get that right, you could win 50 pounds. I know, wow, right? But right now, it's time for the game that stops the nation. This could be your lucky day. Get ready to play. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road, then. Are you ready to win 500 smackaroonies? Oh, yeah. Here's Q1. Which of the following is traditionally used in the name for a tall freestanding clock? Grandfather, great uncle, or godfather? Now, Big Ben is the name of the largest of the five bells which hang within the clock and not actually the name of the landmark clock. I actually saw Big Ben recently and it was a very sorry state of affairs. It's just scaffolding. Poor Ben. Uh, the answer is grandfather. Q2. In the West Midlands, the region covering most of Dudley, Walsall, Sandwell and Wolverhampton is often known as what? Old country, low country or black country. Now, famous people from this area include Frank Skinner, the DJ Goldie, uh, Liam Payne's from there as well, Julie Waters, Lenny Henry and Noddy Holder. It's Christmas! The answer is black country. You probably all turned your volume down on your phones then, didn't you? <laughs> and before we moved on, I just want to say a very, very big hello to old man Wilson and the team at Republic of Media. Kenneth, Ruth and Jen never miss Q Live and they play every day. We love you! We love you! Now, next up is a game of Q Do You Think You Are? Take a look at this celebrity because your question is about to appear. Q3. Who is in this picture? Is it Mark Lamar, is it Vic Reeves, or is it Mark Commode? Now we can see a man with a quiff and glasses, very sophisticated. Do we know who that is? Is this a wild guess? I hope you've answered, because the time's up. The answer is Mark Commode, the film critic. Of course, that was him. Q4. Which Roman emperor is played by Joaquin Phoenix in the 2000 film Gladiator? Claudius, Caligula or Commodus? Now, did you know that in the first century, women also fought as gladiators? That's actual gladiators, by the way, not the 90 TV programme. As good as it was. Jet! The answer is Commodus! Yeah, there you go. So it's time now for question five. Whoa! I just missed me! It's a secret Santa. Now, someone who gets this right will be randomly selected to win a festive 50 pounds. Here's Pandora, the naughty elf, with today's question. Well, did you miss me? Because I missed you. All right, let's do it. Traditionally, Santa Claus gives what to naughty children on Christmas Day? A lump of coal, a Justin Bieber CD, or a Cliff Richard calendar? Bye-bye for now. She's so naughty at Pandora. Now, here's that question again. Traditionally, Santa Claus gives what to naughty children on Christmas Day? Lump of coal, Justin Bieber CD, or a Cliff Richard calendar? Now, if you're still in the game, this is worth £50 to one lucky player. Do we know this? Come on, we all know this one. The answer is, of course, a lump of coal. Now, well done. If you got that right, shall we reveal the winner of today's Secret Santa? 
It is Right Wizard. Well done, Right Wizard. You've won £50. Now, your account will be credited in the next seven days. Well done. Now, let's get back to the game. Q6. The 2002 hit No One Knows was by which American rock band? Queens of the Stone Age, Foo Fighters or Pearl Jam? Now, although Queen are my all-time favourite rock band, I do like a bit of Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer, brilliant track, and also The Calling. You know, I don't know if they're really a rock band. They did Wherever You Will Go. It's a great song. I heard it on the radio the other day. Uh, the answer is Queens of the Stone Age. Now, next up is a picture question, so take a look at your screen because your question is about to appear. Got it? Right, here we go. Q7. What number was immediately to the left of the zero on that roulette wheel as you look at it? 26, 32 or 16? Now, I've actually spun a roulette wheel for about two years. Yeah, I kid you not. Um, it's actually, there's a bit of a knack to it, you know. And uh, once the ball actually came clean out of my hand and I was trying to catch it, trying to juggle it. It's quite a, a, quite a frightening moment for me, actually. And the answer is 26. Oh, you know what that was? That wasn't very hard. That was very hard. Those of you got that wrong. Now, listen, if you've got friends, treat them this Christmas and get them a free life. If someone downloads the app using your username, you'll both get one life. Now, you can use these anytime to stay in the game. Q8. Which of these cities lie on the Manzanares River? Is it Braga, Seville, or Madrid? Now, my favourite river of all, of anywhere, all time, is Hudson River. I actually went on a speedboat down it when I last went to New York, and uh, it was absolutely amazing. It's called the Beast, and it really was a beast. Uh, the answer is Madrid. Now, if you got knocked out on that question, use your free life right now to get back into the game, all right? Here's Q9. Who has been one of the two main advisors to Alan Sugar on The Apprentice for the most number of series? Margaret Mountford, Nick Hewer, or Karen Brady? Now, I was actually on The Apprentice this year, uh, two weeks ago, in fact, the one before last. I was actually training up the candidates to be shopping TV presenters. I tell you what, I'll be honest, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't great. Uh, and I had my work cut out for me, seriously, all day, all day long we filmed. The answer is Nick Hewer. Now, you might remember Nick Hewer, actually, from being here at Q Live. He was here about, what, uh, maybe two months ago or something? He was great, wasn't he? Really nice fellow. OK, are you ready for Q10? Here we go. The director of which of these films is the brother-in-law of the CEO of BuzzFeed? Get Out, Inside Out, or Lights Out? Now, people have spent 43,000 years on BuzzFeed since it was started in 2006. That's crazy. The answer is Get Out. Mm. Great film. Uh, Q11. Which of the following people was elected as the leader of their country first? Nicholas Sarkozy, Julia Gillard, or Angela Merkel? So do we know this one? Is this one that you could go, yes, I actually know this. I know this one. Or is it a complete guess? The answer is Angela Merkel. Well done if you got that right. You've made it to the final question. You've not done very well. You've done very well! It's time to see if you can beat the queue. <laughs> wow. There's 351 of you that are still in the game at Q12. I thought some of these questions were pretty hard. Uh, anyway, this is Q12. Are you ready? Which of the following Kylie Minogue albums charted in the UK first? Fever, Light Years or Body Language? This is for five hundred pounds. Any big Kylie Minogue fans out there? If you're a big Kylie fan, you'll know the answer to this, and you'll know you've already won it. The answer is Light Years. One hundred and twenty-eight of you got that right. Well done. You'll be sharing five hundred pounds. Charlie Baker, the money maker, is back tonight at eight with a festive thousand pounds to be won. He'll also be giving away another mystery prize from our Christmas calendar. Before I forget. Happy birthday to Josh's dad, TJ. He plays Q Live every day and oh, many happy returns to you. Until then, I've been Marina Berry and you've been extraordinary. I'm off to get a wrap. A wrap of chicken seeds. A wrap, a wrap. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>